Good evening, guys. Yes, good evening. No, bom dia. I spent all day Christmas shopping. And if there is something that I hate, it is Christmas shopping. I just really don't like it. Uh, but I spent all day and I'm really tired. But I'm making a video because I want to update you a little bit about what I read this morning and in the car while traveling to all the stores about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. So enjoy today's video filming from the outside of our Christmas house. Bam! The first part guys is going to be the TA part, the part where I bomb you with two really cool charts to show you what is happening to Bitcoin. Check these two charts. This one is the first. BAM! On this first chart, you can see that the RSI and the stock RSI is showing overbought signals. And normally when we are overbought, we will see a correction in the Bitcoin price. But if you to look to the left on the chart, you can see in 2019, around that peak, you know, the 14k bull run, we stayed overbought for some time. I think that the same thing could happen now again. I think we will stay overbought sometime before we make this correction that everybody is expecting because we didn't correct below 22K. We, stayed, we kept above this 22K level. Now again, we are around 23,500 US dollar per Bitcoin. So keep an eye on the RSI, keep an eye on the stock RSI and you will see if this one will drop, then we will see a drop in the Bitcoin price as well, like you can see in the left side of this chart. Also, you can see that we are moving in this huge channel, if you can even call it a channel, because this one is huge. And you can see that we are topping out, we topped out 24K, 24K, now again, trying to break 24K. Mostly when we cannot break the top of this channel, and this RSI is like overbought, giving an overbought signal, we will correct downwards and that will be a correction of maybe 4k to 20k or to 19,800 900 which is a huge level of support so this chart shows us that we could be going downwards from here for a correction a healthy pullback that then again will give the power to accelerate to a higher highs of 30k 40k 50k i just did a tweet today with a very wild prediction of what i would think the bitcoin price could do in 2021 and yes i end i start with 25k in january and i end in december with 320 thousand US dollar per bitcoin so check the tweet or i will put the tweet in the video so you can see my wild prediction for 2021 wild but not impossible but that is something you need to believe in or this t-shirt believe in do you like them do you like the hat do you like the shirt believe we all collectively believe in bitcoin at the end everything will all be fine since so normally guys yes we should see this correction but like you know i already spoke about it many times i believe we are in a supply crisis i believe all the bitcoins are being bought up by huge big time kick ass trust funds, investment companies, billionaires, they're all buying the Bitcoins. So there is not enough Bitcoin. And when we have a supply crisis, the price can only go up. And if we combine the supply crisis with that we can see on this chart, bam, you can see on this chart that the balance on the exchanges is declining every day. You can see all exchanges holding less Bitcoins. This means that people are transferring their Bitcoins from the exchange into their hardware wallets to hodl long time. Make them happy long time, like they say in Thailand, Mr. Mr. I make you happy long time. They take the Bitcoins from the exchange, put them in their hardware wallet, wait happy long time to come in 2021. So yes, we could see a correction, but we already see that people are moving their bitcoins from the exchanges so i'm not too sure that we will see this contraction it's a little bit contradictionary that yes normally we are topping out but on the other hand we can see the bitcoins already moved from the exchanges so you know, nobody wants to sell them they want to believe in bitcoin and hodl 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 long time <laughs> oh happy long time i hear it so many times in thailand i love it i miss thailand to be honest a little bit because there is a little bit warm in the evenings it's a little bit chilly now it's really dark maybe if i turn around you can see like normally you can see the sea and everything but it's really dark and it's really a little bit uh, not not ice cold you know i still have a t-shirt but it's getting 
a little bit colder in the evenings it's cooling off there were the two charts for today i don't have a bam chart because we did only two trades yesterday and they were not like huge profits there were no losses but it was a very busy day for me so i didn't have time to trade um, i did upload some really cool charts today to the discord server so if you want to so see those charts go to the discord server and you can sign up there we have some really cool exciting announcement that we are going to do on christmas day or the first christmas day how do you say this i think the 25th it will be a kick-ass announcement all the people that are already on board of the dd bam bam indicator will especially love this announcement but also the newcomers i think you will love what i have to share around christmas to you it's kind of a christmas present from the bitcoin family to you guys and um, so be patient a couple more days and you will have some great 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 news about the bam indicator you will love it bam That were the charts for today, guys. Let's jump into the blockchain news part, the part where I bomb you with the news that I read during the trips from one store to the other store. While all the kids were shopping at some stores, I stayed in the car to read some news because, you know, I don't want to go, like, to the Primark every time again and again. I just sit and wait in the car and read the news so I can make this video now for you guys. Very positive news is that the CME sees a record of 1.47 billion US dollar open interest. This means that more and more money is flowing into the industry. More and more money is flowing into the CME to buy these futures of bitcoins. A new record of the open interest of 1.47 billion US dollar. That's 40% more than two weeks ago. I think it was 1.4 zero three billion US dollar so that's 40 percent increase of open interest so that means there's a huge inflow of new money into the market which makes me believe yes again that we probably won't see this huge correction at the moment we will see this correction later in my opinion very short but powerful ripple is going to be sued by the sec why because they are very centralized it's not a cryptocurrency like bitcoin like i have said in millions of videos already no i am not a ripple supporter i don't hate them i let them do what they do but this is what you get when you are a very centralized organization then you can get sued by the sec and then it shows you that it is completely different than bitcoin who are they going to sue at bitcoin no one because it is not possible bitcoin is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer cash it is not owned by anyone they cannot knock on the door of the bitcoin building eh, we are going to sue you that is the huge difference between bitcoin or a xrp that is completely centralized and where they can knock on the door and can tell them we are going to sue you and now we are going to stop your and we are going to sue you and we are going to stop you guys so very important moment for you new people in this industry to understand the difference between a decentralized currency like bitcoin unstoppable or a centralized one like ripple xrp stoppable huge 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 difference and luckily now we can see it by example another news item guys is about socials yes you already know about socials because if you have been watching my videos i already talked about them in thailand this is the platform where you can buy your fan tokens of football clubs i bought barca fan tokens at that time uh, i already have access back i lost my access for some time but i got access back and now i have my barca to tokens and i can vote for certain stuff which painting will be there in the dressing room all that stuff and now paris saint germain and juve juventus also have their fan token they released their fan token and the prices increased with 80 to 160 percent that is how popular the the juve and the paris saint germain psg tokens are increasing with 80 to 160 percent in a couple of days and um, please take a look at socials it's really cool if you're a fan of one of these football clubs you can own some tokens now and you with these tokens you can do a lot of stuff you can buy a fan uh, fan swag you can buy maybe a belief hat <laughs> if they believe that they can become the champion whatever you know you can vote and you can all do these hunts i think it's um, token hunts they call it and then you can hunt for tokens like around the football stadium and all that stuff so take a look at socials it's a really cool blockchain project um, that's combining blockchain crypto and sports and i think it will be huge in the future and like you can see the prices of these tokens already increased with 80 to 160 percent so that will make the fans very happy as well because they will have a beautiful christmas dinner now because they huddled fan tokens of their favorite clubs juve and paris saint germain 2.3 billion dollar worth of futures expire on christmas day 2.3 billion US dollars. This can mean that we will see some 
volatile market normally because people can take their profits but i don't know for sure because all these bitcoins and all these futures are being bought up by all this inflow of new people so let's see normally the expiration can have some effect on the bitcoin price but the last two times or three times i don't think it had any effect so let's see if it has effect now on christmas day if you are not too busy with zooming in in life because probably you will be having christmas dinner with your friends and family instead of looking at the bitcoin charts so that's what i say you don't zoom in in bitcoin but you zoom out in bitcoin and you zoom in at life and you celebrate christmas and don't worry about these cme futures that will expire last news guys curve i don't know if you know the project they now want to start european stable currencies you know all the stable currency we have in the industry is us dollar theater or usdc and now we will have s e u r so your sure <laughs> or u e u r s so a euro stable currency or a stable euro it will change the game because who says that these stable currencies patched to the dollar will stay stable when the dollar crashes in the future you know so now we will have an alternative which they call crypto stable currencies but now patched to the euro and it will be called the s euro or euro s whatever name they will have it's really cool that curve now wants to have euro backed stable currencies as well and um, cool to hedge your bitcoin into when you expect a dump because then you hedge into the stable euro Bitcoin dumps and you buy the Bitcoins cheaper so you can buy back more Bitcoins and that is how you increase your Bitcoin portfolio. Like I said, short video today guys because I spent all day shopping and now I want to eat my pizza because it's like a pizza, homemade pizza from the oven. That was everything for today. I hope you liked the short update. If you did like the short update, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and please leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. Tomorrow, again a normal day with a normal video on a beautiful place here in Portland but this was everything for today thank you for watching always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life try to enjoy life every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about so see you tomorrow bye